This is a nylon rope. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly uh, uh, flexible here. It has also reasonable weight, so you can feel the motion of the rope well. And then the goal here is to move the end of the rope around your body. Okay. So again, pay attention to motion of the end of the rope and then let it go around. And then let the rope go around and hit the body here under the armpit. Turn, turn this way a bit more in the downswing. Use the legs, use the legs and then turn. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, you intentionally try to, re no, no, no need to hit the, this is short. So, no, it's a short, so you cannot touch it. Just uh, swing in that direction, okay? Still uh, in the direction of the tall T, but you will not be able to touch it because it's not long enough. Maintain the angle and then throw that way. Swing, swing, swing. You use your wrist as if you're using the wrist. Throw, 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 throw. Ah, the, still you're using the arms. Now here. Let's see, uh, if you keep your hands in front of your chest here, just the turning the body. Still, you can generate good rope motion. Okay? So the body turn will give you enough range of motion, and then you are adding the arm motion a little bit. Okay? So instead of using the arms here, then the lower body is not moving that much. You have to turn and then throw that way, throw this way, throw this way, throw this way. So as if you have uh, balls in your hands. Swing and throw the ball that way. Swing and throw the ball laterally. So throw the rope out, throw the rope out laterally. Use the body. Ah, no, no, no. You have to time everything. The whole pur purpose of body motion is to promote this throw, but if the body goes like this, this is not really helping the rope motion. Now here, look at this, look at this. You have this leg kick here. That leg kick should promote body turn. Kick and turn, kick and turn, instead of just the kicking, kicking here. The purpose of the kick is not just a kick and go up and down, but rather kick and turn, kick and turn here. So that kick has to promote upper body turn. Make it faster both ways. Ah, uh, still, still, you're kicking. You are just kicking. Kick and turn, kick and turn, kick and turn, kick and turn. Kick gives you good turn. Yeah, that's how you use the the leg to promote the upper body. It's not not about this motion. Rather. By kicking, by kicking the ground with the leg extension, right? Leg extension, this brings the hip up and backwards slightly. With this action, actually pelvis is turning with the leg action. Leg action, pelvis turn, then the shoulder also turn. The leg action should give you good pelvis turn. Throw, throw the, still your goal is to move the end of the rope faster around your body. Throw, throw, throw. So the, the key is, your goal is not to move the body excessively, but rather with that body motion, you have to throw the rope faster around. So.
Give me this whoosh sound. It's coming from the speed of the rope. So using the body, you actually have, have to promote the, the rope motion. It shouldn't come, it shouldn't come just the arm motion, from arm motion. It should be whole body motion. You are using the whole body to throw the rope around. Yes, throw, 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 throw. Use the whole body, whole body, throw. Uh, still, it's a fairly arm-driven motion. Try to do this. So, if you are, if this is a big drum here, you can use the arm, boom, like this, or you can use the body. So use the body and promote the rope motion. Again, uh, just relax, relax, just uh, relax, and then try to throw the rope as fast as possible around your body. But it's not, it's a snappy motion like this, but throw, throw. Pay attention to the motion at the end of the rope. Yep. So the, the interesting thing about the rope swing is that as you repeat the rope swing, if your goal is to move the end of the rope fast around, gradually your body motion changes <laughs> and you have better harmony in the body motion. So all you do is uh, imagine that uh, you have a gum sticking here. Mm -hmm. You want to shake it off, shake it off. Yeah, by, by swinging the rope fast. And then you have the feel of uh, using the wrist here, as if you're snapping the wrist as you swing. Okay? Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake it off. Yes, yes, yes. Now it's a, the body motion is better timed. Yes, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Here we go. Now you are maintaining the body axis a lot better. You, get, you got rid of all the unnecessary movements. Oh. You pretty much your body is moving about this axis and then throw, throw. Now let's go back to the stick again. The same, the same feel. Okay, shake it off using the wrist and forearm motion and the whole body. But as you swing, your goal is to move the white ball around, shake it off. Yes, 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 yes. This is the idea. Now you are more focusing on the motion of the white ball yeah. instead of your body motion here. That's right. Your body moves to move the stick, but still the end goal is to promote the good white ball motion, right? Right. So you have to use your body all together to promote that motion. But if you have this quick pull, you're putting a lot of effort, but uh, it's not really to promote the good white ball motion. Mm -hmm. Currently, your swing plane is a lot better. Now, whether you use stick or the rope, still, you have to maintain consistent swing plane, both ways. Okay, back and forth, you are moving the device along the same swing plane, and they have enough time in the transition. Yeah, no rush. Because you need to throw this, then you have to wait until this throwing is completed, and then go down and throw in the weight here. But if you start pulling, you rush. You have the feel of throwing. Again, your goal is to uh, shake off uh, the gum, okay, sticking at the end of the stick. Yes. Yep. And then now touch touch the T so that you don't you don't stand up, maintain the axis. Touch the tall T. But still, uh, shake it off. Yes, yes, yes. 
So this is what you need to practice uh, you know, a lot for a while. Do not limit the motion, range of motion. Use the full range of motion, particularly as we get old. I hope I can swing like you uh, at your age, but uh, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I'm about uh, 10 years younger than you, so uh, uh, yeah. So um, now, use the full range of motion. Do not try to limit this. So let it go, let it go all the way. In doing this, at impact, you have extended arm here so that make sure it passes through that point here. Instead of trying to control this using the arms, just let it go all the way, extend, you know, throw, let it go. Okay, this will give you a lot better impact control and also a lot more speed. Now let's go back to the rope again. Again, the goal is to shake, shake it off shake off uh, the gum uh, sticking at the end. Yeah, use a, a consistent swing plane both ways. Swing, swing, swing. Whoa, very good. Swing, keep swinging, swing. Ride the rhythm, ride the rhythm. It doesn't have to be really uh, rigorous, but uh, feel the rhythm. Swing, swing, dance, dance, swing, swing, dance. Aha, initially you use the legs a lot better, but toward the end, you start using the arms. I was losing the ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I got out there. Swing, swing, dance, dance, swing, swing, dance. Yeah, look at this. Now the swing plane is a lot more consistent. Yeah, like my head was. So you're riding the rhythm now, naturally. Yeah. So practice this for next uh, maybe a couple of weeks. Practice this rhythm diligently. Okay. But don't be uh, don't be uh, you know uh, in a hurry uh, to hit the ball. Just uh, work on the rhythm a lot. Once this is uh, settled, then you can do this without even thinking. Yeah. Okay. But I play five times a week. Every day, uh, in the morning and in the evening. Sometimes. And she will uh, maintain the log. So uh, how much time you spend on this?